Hello and welcome to my first behind the scenes of my ultimate decades challenge. In this video, what I thought I wanted to do is this is my main lot for my ultimate decades challenge. Currently, I have Gen 1 and now Gen 2 living on this lot. So we have a tavern, a chapel, and two family homes currently. And then now with the new for rent pack, I wanted to do a little bit of a play test to see how this lot might function if I were to divide it up into shared areas and multiple family units. So we are going to go through that process today and my plan is to go through three main parts in this video. Part one, dividing the builds into units and then part two, what that process is going to look like to separate the two generations of the families into separate households and get them moved into the correct units. And then in part three, if the video is not too long, we will do a play test together. If it gets kind of long, I might break that into a separate video, but my plan is to put that all together into this first video. So we are going to dive in right now and start breaking this lot up into multiple units and see how it goes. So let's dive in. All right, so the first thing I have already learned is that in order to shift this into a residential rental or whatever it's called, I think that's a lot type, residential rental, you have to actually load in to the lot as the current household that's living on the lot. You can't go straight into build mode from the, the map screen. So I tried to do it originally through build mode, but that did not work from the world screen. It said it was locked and you had to be the owner of the lot. So I am loaded into my Rosenthorn family and now I have gone into build mode. And then if we head up here right now, our lot type is residential. And so now I can switch that to residential rental and that will give us a lot more options. And I was really confused at this next step the first time I tried it but you click the gear icon and that takes you into unit configuration. And basically what we have to do is start clicking in to the different areas of the build. So I'm gonna start, this is our main house where the main family lives. So we're gonna start with this one as the first residential unit. So if I click into this area, when it pops up, it'll say whether it's shared. And right now the only residential unit that exists is one Dresden house. And you cannot create a second unit until you've already assigned room rooms to the first unit. So that's where I got a little bit confused. So what we're going to do is there's basically three areas of this house. So I'm going to click into each room, their bathroom, their main kitchen area, and then their upstairs living area. I'm going to make part of one Dresden house. And then now for the other residential house. So this is the where Gen 2 in my Let's Play is currently living. And so now once I click in to the main room and depending on how many rooms you have you may have to like you know select a lot more rooms but for mine I have like it's the whole first floor it's just one room so now I can create a new unit so we do that now it's highlighted in a different color if you find those annoying you can actually click the toggle up here at the top between the bulldoze and the weather icon and that will actually turn the color icons off i actually prefer that when i'm building but for right now while i'm assigning units it's actually quite helpful so this is now to dresden house and then i want to do the same with the upstairs area so this is going to be to dresden house and then this part i'm curious to see it should work i actually want this outhouse to not be shared I want this to only be for two Dresden house. So that's perfect. So now this house along with this. And now what I wanna see is can I, oh my gosh, yes. I can assign the garden as well. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. So I can assign that garden because I do specifically want this outdoor area and that is working because I have the fence all the way around. So if this were just like a, um, for example, this garden over here is not enclosed, so I obviously have no room to select, so I can't you know, assign this garden to um, a particular one. But this one being the main um, kind of farmland, I that just, it's gonna stay the shared area. And then what I wanna do is we have um, both the tavern 
and the chapel area. So I'll start with the chapel since this is just one room and I'm gonna select that and I want that to be shared. So it looks like that's already assigned. I think for right now, what I'm gonna do, we, we just had a tavern fire at the end of my last episode. So that is what you're seeing there. Um, I'm gonna leave the tavern shared for right now because another thing that I wanna test is I'm currently using the live in business mod by Little Miss Sam to make this a functional tavern. And I have not read up to see if that mod is functioning with the residential rental lot types. So I'm gonna leave this. Um, my instinct was originally to leave it as shared, but now I'm wondering, should I actually make this part of one Dresden house so it's recognized. Let's test it first. Let me make it actually part of the main household because they're the ones who are still currently running the tavern. Gen 2 has not taken that over yet. So just for you know real-time play test, I have made it part of this unit. The chapel is shared. Um, and then I'm gonna leave all of the barn area as shared for right now. I may change that with time because I actually do want to add a third residential residential unit here um, for my sim uh, may she's in my let's play so i'm going to create a third residential unit for her and then this area will become part of the three dresden house but for right now i will leave it shared i think i could even set this oh see look this is interesting i have the fence here but it's not letting me select the room so i must have something um incomplete potentially but it's odd that i can't select um that pin so and it's fine it'll be shared so now we have everything set up and then now you can do separate lot traits as well so i think one dresden house just inherited what i already had set on the lot so i'm gonna leave live in bar live in store on there to kind of see what happens and then i also want um I'll just leave. I want to have simple living. Um, I'll leave off the grid off for right now for our play test, but for my actual let's play, I would turn that back on. And then for two Dresden house, I want to add, um, I'm not going to add live in bar and live in store to them since they're not in charge of it and they don't have the tavern mark. So I'm going to leave that off. Um, and then for them, I will put um, simple living and I'll add off the grid later. So that is the configuration. I'm gonna go ahead and hit save just because I know playing with this pack has been a little bit glitchy. So we've been calling them safety saves over on my Twitch stream. So we're just gonna do a little safety save just to be sure. And now what I'm assuming we are gonna have to do, because if I go back into live mode, I think the entire family is currently living in one Dresden house. Two Dresden house says fill vacancy, which I don't want to do. I actually want my generation two Sims, which is Jasper and Maya, to be in that other house. So what we're going to do now is we're going to head back to the world map so we can do a transfer of the family. And we're going to test together in real time and see how complicated or simple this might be because I've only tested a multifamily lot in one of my Twitch Let's Plays and I kind of moved each of my families in individually. No one was living on the lot initially. So in case you're playing like this and maybe you're doing Ultimate Decades Challenge or you're already playing on like a multi-generational lot and now you're trying to go in after the fact and split your family in, this is exactly how you will do it. So I am going to, I have not play tested this. I have not tried this. So let's just see, this is my theory um, that this will work. So first, what I'm going to have to do is make Jasper and Maya into a new household. Um, and I'm actually going to give them, um, that's Jasper's horse. So I'm going to transfer him as well, but we're just going to transfer a little bit of money over to them um, just for the purposes of this. I guess call it a tutorial maybe i guess it's just kind of a behind the scenes us learning together so there we go we've got them split and so this rosenthorn family should still be living in one dresden house and so now what i want to do is take jasper and maya and tempest and i want to move them into a lot we're gonna select our lot here 
and they can now move in to, to Dresden House. Love that it says their rent is zero a day and their furnishings are zero dollars. That is weird. It definitely shouldn't say that the furnishings are zero dollars. So I feel like I saw a video on YouTube of someone that had issues. So let's just see. We're just going to stay the course and see what happens. So, okay, here it goes. Okay. Now, now it is showing that it, uh, they don't have enough money. So that's definitely some kind of glitch because that's not showing up. So let me put on my cheat. If you're not familiar, you can put on free real estate on. I don't know if this is going to work for the multifamily lot. So I had an issue with it. So let's just give it our best go and try to move them in here. Yes, it worked. It worked. They got a free house. Perfect. Okay. So now we have the two households. So now we've got the main house in the tavern. It shows that they are the property owner of this land. And, and you can probably change that. I guess I didn't test that. And then now I have Maya and Jasper here in this unit. So what I first want to do, um, now let's move into play testing. I actually, I haven't been recording that long. So I'm going to go ahead and just keep the play test in this same video. So let's go ahead and load into one Dresden house, which is the main house, the property owners. And mainly I want to test if we can actually open and run the tavern with Little Miss Sam's live in business mod. Because if we can still do that, that is amazing. It probably just means you have to make it part of your actual residence, which means not making it a shared area. But let's just, let's try it. So let's go ahead. I'm going to teleport Rosalind over here so she can test this out for us. Let's click on the door. Open live in store. Open live in bar. Let's get her tending the bar. Um, it says we've opened the live in business. So let's see how this goes. So if people start showing up, because that's the part I'm not sure of. So, so far, everything seems to be working. Um, oh, I am getting an exception error. That could be completely unrelated. I've just been getting a lot of exception errors in the save file because I have so many mods, but it looks like I have not even cut out or edited anything. So we are already getting our first customer. So that is awesome. I'm so happy. Um, the mod, of course, I made sure I have the most updated version of the Little Miss Sam Live in Business mod, but it's working. It is absolutely working. People are coming in. They are looking at our items. I love that. So now I can separate. And so now the only difference from the lot before was my sims could previously like go into each other's houses they were sharing inventories in the fridge and all of that and i did not want that to happen so now i'm gonna have may she is gonna come over so now look we cannot see into jasper's house so um if you've played in a multi-family unit before this is gonna be just like that we cannot just go in so may's gonna come over and what i want her to do is visit the unit hold on we're gonna do a safety save let's do a safety save because i have had uh the game freeze at this point in my other let's play so let's visit we're just gonna go on our own and then now we should still be controlling the main household but we will now have access to Jasper and Maya's lot. That's what should happen. I'm gonna let, I'm gonna, for science, I'm gonna just let my loading screen go in real time to see how long does it take to load in. It didn't take too long. It was just, you know, probably less than, that was like for sure less than a minute. So we can now, I think she has to knock on the door first, or can we just walk in? Oh, sometimes you have to knock on the door. Sometimes you can just walk in. So yeah, now that is playing in household one, but visiting and switching to visit household two. And then our other option is I will actually click the door and say switch control to this household. There's a couple different ways you can do this. Um, just switch to household. And now we will be in 
actually controlling like Jasper and Maya. So let me, let's see how long that takes. I'm not gonna edit it. I'm just gonna let the loading screen run and pretty quick. I mean, it's still like, it's definitely like immersion breaking, but we are now here with Jasper and Maya. And we can see that down here in our panel. We don't see the other family members anymore. And now we can no longer see the tavern or the main household. So this actually worked out really, really well. Um, obviously, there's a bit more playtesting to do. Like, I think that this is how I'm going to try it out in my Ultimate Decade series, at least for probably the next episode and see, you know, do I prefer to only have control of one of the households at a time or do I prefer to... Um, you know, be able to access everyone. Because sometimes it's just a lot to be trying to control everyone. And this is a way that I can keep, you know, an easy way without mods to keep their bank accounts separate, to keep their food inventory separate, things like that, which could be really nice. It'll just be a little bit annoying if like, if I just want Jasper to like go over to his parents' house, I now have to like load into their lot. So that could be annoying. But I hope this behind the scenes was helpful. I think I'm gonna end it here. Um, so if you wanna see more of how this lot functions definitely check out my ultimate decade series i'll be trying it out in the next episode but that is it for this one if you like this video if you found it helpful don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next one